Edmonton Meadowlark. First main set of questions. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Premier is trying to change the channel on Travelgate by pleading guilty to a lesser charge of $3,100 per family friend. <laughs> when Albertans really want her to pay back for wasting $45,000 of their hard-earned tax money and not behind, hide behind the Auditor General. The Premier of South Africa exp expense is completely indefensible and it gets worse. She billed the taxpayer $20,000 for her executive assistant alone. To the Premier, was it absolutely necessary for you to bring your EA along or was it just another perk you expected your inner circle to get paid for by the Alberta taxpayer? Speaker, as I said yesterday, uh, the work that I do as the Premier of this province involves a lot of different things, and there are a lot of people in work in my, work in my office to support me in that work. One of those people is my executive assistant. My executive assistant travels with me. Mr. Speaker, you know, the day that uh, we uh, learned the unfortunate news of the, uh, the flooding in southern Alberta starting, I was on my way back from New York, spent an awful lot of time dealing with issues of government at that time. I uh, certainly appreciated the support of my staff in Edmonton, my staff in Calgary, the public service, and my executive assistant who was traveling with me in New York. That is simply the way that work happens, Mr. Speaker. And, uh... Thank you. Honourable Leader. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. All leaders here at EAs that work with us. But let's pretend for a moment that it was necessary for the Premier's EA to travel to South Africa, or shall I say, her briefcase carrier. There's still the small matter of the cost of his first-class flights to and from South Africa. $20,000 first class. Mr. Speaker, that's more than my expenses for the entire year alone as leader of an opposition party. To the Premier, why should taxpayers shell out so much money for your assistant, first class, to and from South Africa when he could have flown economy for a fraction of the cost. You know, Mr. Speaker, I am very proud of the fact that 18 months ago we put in place travel and expense policy guidelines that are transparent to the people of Alberta so that everyone knows how the expenses related to the operations of government take place, Mr. Speaker. And at that time, you will remember that the Canadian Taxpayers Federation said not only was our disclosure policy but our travel and expense policy was, let's say it together, the gold standard for this country, Mr. Speaker. What I will tell you is that we do work, that it does involve expenses, that there are rules in place. We follow those rules, Mr. Speaker. And I look forward to another question from you. Thank you. The Honourable Leader. Mr. Speaker. Expense policy, and it's a funny thing is, it's public first class for them and third class for Albertans. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, the last time a cabinet minister abused taxpayer dollars on inappropriate travel expenses, not only did the premier make her pay it back, she fired her from her post. Now, the very credibility of this government is being degraded, the reputation of every government member on this side to the premier. You're the leader of the province. Will you just do the right thing? Please, just pay 45000 bucks back, and let's move on to other topics. Please. Mr. Speaker, I remember at the beginning of January saying to people that we needed to do better. I took responsibility. I apologized. We've taken steps to ensure that the Auditor General can continue to have the open access that he always has on these issues. In fact, Mr. Speaker, we're very much looking forward to moving on. I was at uh, the Mayor of Edmonton's State of the City address today. He's looking to the future. He's moving on. I think the Honourable Member was there. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Yeah.